must be the guy who ran this place. Looks like he figured himself as some kind of supreme leader. Nothing in the there. alleyway to the auto shops down here. You coming or not? That must be down this way. Well, climbing the fence isn't an option. Herman's. This is the place I'm looking for. No stragglers get under this door. Well, I can see where the battery should be, but it's not. Perfect. 
Looks like Crawford had their own semi-trucks. No power. Looks like it's the hose for the lift hydraulics. It's locked. No way in. can't reach it up there. More of Crawford's rules. How did anybody live like this? I'd rather take my chances on the outside. Something you need? Think I can borrow that uh, hook thing of yours? I don't know. Hilda and I have been through a lot together. Hilda? That's what I call her. Don't judge. Please, can I borrow Hilda? I'll take good care of her. She won't get a scratch. I got your promise now. Not a scratch. Something you need? What do you think happened to Crawford? No, no, don't care. As far as I'm concerned, these fuckers got what was coming to them. Not a lot of sympathy for all the people who died here, huh? I have about as much for them as they did for the sick and the old and anyone else they didn't think was fit to belong in their little paradise. So yeah, fuck them. What was all that about back there? He came at me up on that rooftop, tried to take a bite out of me, so I took care of business. What, you got a problem with me killing geeks? No, it just seemed like you went to town on him a little more than you needed to. Hey, you never really know when those things are all the way dead. I was just making sure. Look, you want to get this battery or not, time's wasting. So why did you decide to help us? I told you, I'm expecting a ride on that boat once that hillbilly friend of yours has got it running. You sure that's all of it? You want to keep interrogating me, or do you want to get the damn battery and get out of here? I'm going to have a look around. You do that. I can't reach it up there. No power. Something 
I gotta do first. What? Catch you later. Wait, you still got the battery? Yeah, I think I'll hold on to it. Make sure you don't leave without me. See you back in class. Molly! Damn it, what the hell is she doing? need any help? Thanks, but I think we're almost in. We're taking care of it, Lee. Don't worry. Just yet. Let's get the hell back to the classroom. It's a hand with these fuel cans. They weigh a goddamn ton. You're back! Yeah, and we made out pretty good, too. Great work, Kenny. How you doing with that door? Not so good. Here, let me give you a hand. Did you get that battery yet? Yeah, Molly has it. She should be back here soon. She better be. What do we still need? We already got the fuel and the battery. Once we find some medicine, we'll be good to go. So where's this battery you found? Molly has it. She ran off to do something. Well, she'd better bring it back here. I don't know why you trusted that girl with it. We hardly know her. She saved your life, didn't she? <laughs> yeah, but what has she done for me lately? No, wait. There is something you can help me with. Something that's been on my mind. I could use your opinion. What is it? It's Kenny. Since I've been helping him work on the boat, I've gotten to know him a little better. He's a good guy, you know? And it's eating me up knowing what I know. I've been thinking about telling him the truth. Ben, come on. This again? It's my fault Duck and Katja got killed. If I hadn't screwed up back at the motor inn, they'd still be alive. How am I supposed to just carry something like that around? I have to tell him. I agree. I think you should tell him. Just not now. You don't get it, Lee. What am I supposed to do whenever he talks about Katja and Duck? Just nod and pretend like it wasn't my fault. I can't do it anymore. Ben, listen. Kenny seems like he's got his shit back together because right now he's got a purpose. But he's still in a real bad place. You tell him now, he's gonna lose it. And then we're all screwed. There'll come a time when he's ready to hear it. But it's not now. Not yet. I hear you. I'm gonna get back to this. when I was in college. Been getting treatment ever since. Just when I was starting to get better, when I thought there might be some hope, all this happened. Lost my whole family. I'm the only one who survived. 
Funny how things work out, huh? How long have you known Vernon? A couple of years. He ran our support group. He was really great helping me come to terms with my disease. But how do you come to terms with something like this? With a place like Crawford? I don't know what I or, or the other survivors would have done without Vernon. He's the one who held us together, kept us alive. What do you think about this whole Crawford situation? I'd rather not talk about it. Too many awful memories. Even being back here gives me a bad feeling. Even now, with everyone dead? I got no sympathy for what happened to these people. They weeded out the sick and the old. Even children. Those least able to defend themselves so that they could save their own skins. Whatever happened here, however Crawford fell, I consider it poetic justice. Damn, girl, that's cold. It's how I feel. If you'd seen what I seen, you'd feel the same. I'm a little busy here, Lee. Maybe you should go get that battery or help with the medicine. Check these drawers? Yes, Lee. Nothing in there worth taking. Why are you recording this? 
Regulations. Oberson has ordered me to keep records of all medical examinations and consultations. I need you to brace yourself, Anna. The sonogram confirms that you're pregnant. Oh God, oh God, oh God. As you know, the rules are very clear. The termination is mandatory. You don't have to tell them. Tell them it was just nausea. But you gave me something for it and it went away. This is my problem, not yours. If Oberson finds out that I concealed evidence of a pregnancy, I'm sorry, but these are the rules. I'm gonna give you a sedative. It'll make the procedure easier on you. I don't want the procedure! I want my baby! I can't do this! I can't do this! Anna, you don't have a choice. Now, if you like, you can take some time with this. But I need you to come back no later than tomorrow. Or I'll have no choice but to inform Oberson myself. I'm sorry. Damn it! We almost had it. What the hell kind of place was this? Like Molly said, the worst kind. Lee, maybe there's another tape. We gotta keep looking. I think I recognize that doctor. He was one of the walkers out in the alley by the auto shop. Maybe you should search him. See what he's got on him. Phones probably haven't worked in months. Not working. Two more tapes. One of them is dated October 10th. That's the day after the first one we watched. Put it in.
I thought you said I didn't have a choice. Well, technically you do. You can terminate the pregnancy or leave Crawford. Of course, that would be a death sentence for both you and your unborn child. Maybe that's best. I stayed up all last night thinking about this. Why are we even trying to survive? To keep on living? If this is what it takes. If this is what it's turned us into. I don't make the rules, Anna. Doctor, I'm begging you. Please help me. Maybe one day when things are different, you can try again. But for now, today, we have to do this. something else on there. We got the meds for Omid. That's all I care about. We'll head back to the classroom. Don't take too long, Lee. Oh, shit. 